Hello and welcome. The easiest way to solve this logarithmic equation is to remember the change of base identity. Log to base A of B is equal to 1 over log to base B of A. Now, since these three logarithms have the same argument, then let us make that argument the base. When we do it in this case, we have that this is going to be equal to log to base x of 2x minus 1. Here we have log to base x of x plus 6. Of course, this is equal to 1 plus log to base x of x plus 10. Now, let us move this term over to the left-hand side. When we do that, this equation becomes log to base x of 2x minus 1 plus log to base x of x plus 6 minus log to base x of x plus 10 is equal to 1. Now, since these three logarithms have the same base, we can combine them. Of course, remember that log a plus log b is equal to log a times b and log a minus log b is equal to log a over b. So when we combine these, we have log to base x of these two are adding. So we have 2x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 6. And this is subtracting. So it's going to be over x plus 10. And of course, this is still equal to 1. Now, remember that when we have a statement such as log to base a of b is equal to c, that this simply means that a to the power c is equal to b. That is, a to the power c is equal to b. So when you look at this, you will see that x to the power 1 is equal to that. So this equation becomes 2x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 6 divided by x plus 10 is equal to x to the power 1, which is equal to x. And of course, the next thing we are going to do is that we will cross multiply to get rid of this fraction on the left hand side. So when we do that, we have that x into x plus 10 is equal to 2x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 6. On the left hand side, we have x times x, that is x squared plus 10 times x, which is 10x. And this is equal to 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 6 is 12x. Minus 1 times x is minus x. And minus 1 times plus 6 is minus 6. Now this is equal to 2x squared. 12x minus x is 11x. So this is plus 11x minus 6. Now let us move these two terms over to the right hand side. Of course, when we do that, we are left with 0 on the left hand side. And here we have 2x squared minus x squared plus 11x minus 10x minus 6. And from here, we have 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. 11x minus 10x is plus x. And of course, we are left with minus 6, and this is equal to 0. Now, we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. Since the coefficient of x squared is 1, all we have to do is to find the factors of minus 6 
that add up to plus one. And those are going to be, since this is positive, then the smaller number is going to be negative because we know that minus two times three is going to give us minus six, while three minus two is equal to one. So we can factorize this left-hand side as x minus two multiplied by x plus three. And of course, this is equal to zero. And this statement simply means that either x minus two is equal to zero or x plus three is equal to zero. Now, when we add two to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to two. And when we subtract three from both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to minus three. So we have two values of x that apparently satisfy this equation. We have that x is equal to two. And we have that x is equal to minus three. Now, for this log reading to be defined, then it means that this base must be positive. So from here, we have that 2x minus 1 must be greater than 0. This simply means that 2x must be greater than 1. And dividing both sides of this inequality by 2, we have that x must be greater than 1 over 2. And when you look at these two values of x, you will see that the second value does not abide by this rule. So the only value of x that satisfies this equation is x equal to 2. Now to check our result, let us substitute 2 for x into the original equation. We have 1 over 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1, 3. So this is log to the 3 of 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 6 is 8. So this is log to base 8 of 2. This is equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 10 is 12. So this is log to base 12 of 2. Once more, applying the change of base formula, we have that this is the same as log to base 2 of 3 plus log to base 2 of 8. This is equal to 1 plus log to base 2 of 12. Now, applying the addition law, this is log to base 2 of 3 times 8. And then we know that 1 can be written as log to base 2 of 2. Then we have plus log to base 2 of 12. Once more, applying the addition law, this is equal to log to base 2 of 2 times 12. So on the left hand side, we have log to base 2 of 3 times 8, which is 24. And on the right hand side, we have log to base 2 of 2 times 12, which is 24. So we have that when x is equal to 2, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such tutorials, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.